welcome to my youtube channel this tutorial i will show you interesting information about constraints in blender so let's define what these constraints in blender and how to use them first you need to you need to know some information about this kind of constraints we have constraints control click on this button object constraint properties and go over add object constraint is going to be showing this uh, drop down menu constraints controls on object properties as such as its location rotation and scale by targeting the object to secondary object to or connecting objects in a scene together such that they act single entity while maintaining individual characteristics another way to define constraints is to say is to say the define relationships between objects here is we have four categories motion tracking also transform and uh, tracking and relationship for example the track uh, to constraint which we when applied to one object the child like this with a target set as a second object the parent causes the child to follow the parent using child of constraint creates what is termed a child this has a particular application in animating characters constraints are applied to objects in the properties editor shown here constraints buttons clicking on add object constraint then selecting constraint from the menu that displays so let's explain the track track to constraint over here provides an introduction demonstrating what constraint is in practical terms and how constraints are used in the default blender scene a camera object as shown here is directed towards the cube such that it captures the, the cube in camera view when the cube is animated to move across the screen the cube can move in and out of the camera if you want the cube to remain in view no matter where the cube is in the scene you track the camera to the cube by employing the track to constraint at the constraint to the camera over here track to and you can see this uh, this line to unlock the default camera have it selected then press alt r Our clear rotation, clear data as shown here. Rotation is cleared and the camera points down in the scene. Note that the clear rotation panel displays in the lower left hand corner of the editor. Over here. If a data transformer rotation values have been entered in the properties editor, object buttons, delta transform tab, check clear data in the clear rotation panel. Go over here in the track to constraint panel as shown here. Click on target and select the target object. It's a cube or you can use this eye dropper. Then take it over this cube. So we just want to select a cube like this. Note, you can note that uh, on entering the target cube, the camera swings around pointing away from the cube. There is a broken line connecting the camera to the cube as shown here. We have uh, this uh, blue line indicating that the constraint is applied, but you have to adjust two and up directions in the constraint panel. You have to adjust uh, two and up settings. 
set to as negative z like this it's set by default and up as y set by default with the cube animated to move in the scene the camera always points to the cube in this case constraints are associated with an object by selecting the object in 3d viewport editor then clicking on add object constraint in properties editor object constraints buttons and selecting the constraint from the menu that displays When when you move uh, and animate the cube, the camera is gonna be following the cube and tracking tracking it like this, as you can see in our example. Now let's discuss the transform constraints list. We have copy location, copy rotation, and much more uh, options over there. So for copy location, for example forces the object with constraint added to take up the location of the target object so let's just apply it on the Suzanne monkey just like this copy location and the target is the cube as shown here when you try to move the, the cube like this the Suzanne monkey is gonna uh, be following the cube so for example hit uh, the zero on the numpad so let's move the susan monkey like this let's move the cube susan monkey is gonna be following the cube as shown in our example and for copy rotation so let's go back Go over here click on copy rotation what can this uh, what can this feature do forces the object with the constraint added to copy the rotation of the target object when the target rotates the object rotates for example so go back to copy rotation and you select the object you want to apply the constraint on so target then take it it's the cube it's gonna be uh, rotating as a cube so just like this so let's rotate it's gonna be following the cube art rotates along the z-axis gonna be rotating as well as cube is gonna be rotating so just for the next uh, so select the Susanna monkey then delete I'm gonna be applying copy scale so just the target is uh, is the cube so just if you want to scale it like this the Suzumic is gonna be scaling I'm gonna be changing its size like in our example so just go back select Suzumic monkey delete this panel The next uh, feature is uh, copy transformers, similar to copy location constraint. For example, select uh, the Susama Giko, copy transforms. The target is the cube. Rabbit is going to be following the cube as uh, shown in our example. So let's try the other features. We have also a limit distance. Limit distance, what can this feature do? It's similar to the copy location constraint. I have discussed it, this. Uh, sorry, I have discussed the copy transforms. I'm going to be discussing limit distance. Limit distance is constraints the object to 
remain within a set distance from a target object, the distance is a spherical field surrounding the target and the object is constrained within or outside the spherical field. So let's try it as shown here. Example, the target is the cube as shown here. Distance, you can also play around with the distance like this. If you want to affect the transform, then distance inside the clamp, inside or outside on the surface if you want. So let's try to grab it. G then grab it along the Y axis. And you can see the difference. When grab it along the, the Y axis like this, it's gonna be When grab it uh, along the Y axis is gonna be constraining the the movement of the Susana monkey in a field the with the radius this radius so let me show you in this uh, field of uh, distance 6.74 meters target is a cube clamp for example outside so let's try it again grab it along the y-axis as shown here and you can see the motion capture it in our tutorial so go back show this panel for example, affecting transform, grab it along the y axis. Then here is vertex group if you want to affect uh, any vertex group. Then we have these uh, three options for the limit location. So let's delete. Now let's go to try limit location, for example. If you want to limit location the minimum, the minimum on X, for example, 1.5, minimum on Y, 4.7 uh, meters on Z, for example, 4.5.6. Uh, also, if you want to constrain, if you want to constrain your object to this distance, it's gonna be applying and constraining the movement. So we have the influence if you want to, to set it like this. When you try to grab it, uh, this object is constrained just uh, constrained to this distance. Set it over, set uh, over there. Thanks for watching. See you in next tutorial to continue the tutorial of constraints in Blender.